You know my next guest from Grey's Anatomy. She now stars in the new Netflix series, 13 Reasons Why. Please welcome Kate Walsh. to meet you. I just found out right before the show, which is what I ran backstage to, to say hi to you for, is yes. that it turned out that we were both in sort of the Chicago improv scene at the same time. I know. I can't believe our paths didn't cross because it's a kind of a small little community it is. there. I feel like when we must have been at a party together or something or, yeah. I don't know, somewhere uh, yeah. temping maybe. I was there yeah. from 91 to 95. I left in 94. So yeah. there's no way we, we didn't see each somewhere. other. We had to do some Annoyance improv set together. Annoyance or I.O. or something, like, something that. like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you know, yeah. like, uh, you were, like, with, with Dell and Sharna yes. and hanging out with Mick Napier I, and those yeah, people. Yeah, Mick Napier, yeah. yeah. I don't know who these uh -huh. people are, but they're yes, very no. good people. They're very nice people. They're very people. good people. They you should know who these people are. In their name. So, yeah. uh, you know what you can't... <laughs> they got the face and the hands <laughs> and the they teeth. They were great. Did you... Human. One thing you can't make a lot of money doing is improv. No, no, no. no. How did you survive? I did a lot of waitressing, and then I did some temping as well. Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I tried to mi mix it up and do some I was. I considered dog walking was just starting up then, but then I was like, too much poop. No. Nope. Too much poop? Too much poop. No, yeah. do it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, um, I, the temping was really where I landed before I started making money as an actor. Do you know what yeah. a great thing about Chicago is, is that... Um, no matter how poor you are yeah. in Chicago, because uh, it's Illinois and it's the land of Lincoln, yeah. they have, every place has to accept pennies as payment. Do they? Oh, yeah. I used to, I remember walking around Chicago <laughs> being a young improv guy and being really depressed and going, why am I so sad? Why am I so <laughs> sad? And I thought, oh, because you paid for the bus with pennies, with pennies. this morning. But yeah. you could pay for pennies with anything you could. there. Yeah. Oh, my God. I wish I would have known. Things could have been different for me, much different. <laughs> Don't throw them away. <laughs> Don't. Now, um, y you are a self-professed, uh, I understand, uh, cat lady. <laughs> I got a, a couple post, of cats and dogs. They're you're a in cat New York. lady who has dogs. Okay, <laughs> and here are your dogs. And your, does that and make your... it better? What does that make it better? I think it does. That's all yeah. good. I love I cat don't ladies. Know. I don't How know. much of are you like a should worry about your cat lady or just? I think that's all sort of <laughs> subjective. I don't. I don't think so. Someone Do you go asked everywhere me. Everywhere with your cats? No, I don't. Okay. I don't. That Do would you be travel weird. With them? I will hear. I did, and they are you in New York. Here. Yeah. Did they come on the plane with you? They didn't come on the plane with me, but they came on the plane with, with someone else. Uh -huh. <laughs> How do you do that? How do you I have travel a group with of people? How do you? Oh, you really sound Hollywood. Now it sounds I had super, my animal team. It's uh, my animal crew. Bring the menagerie out. I have the animal and the, the no. llama got stuck at O'Hare. The <laughs> what? How, how do you do that? How do you unicorn? travel? No. Like I, in the like uh, underneath or no, like no, on they, the seat they're with little you? pet carriers that go underneath okay. at the seat in front, and then the dogs they they got the emotional support. That was the, like the service dog. Thing? Yeah, it was like an emotional support dog. But in in, in fact, the person who wrote the prescription for the emotional support. Wait, it, you can, wait, which is you called a shrink. Back. How do you? You have to. Okay, so to get an emotional support dog certificate, you have to have a therapist or, or a shrink, as I say. Like, say they, they prefer that. Yeah, they, I think they like that. They went to all that school. Shrink is where it's sure. very. Uh, it's flattering. So you have to say, you know, that I have anxiety issues or something. I'm like that sounds good, right? Anxiety issues. That's why I have to the dog. This he made a list of things. I am so. Re I mean, it's like bipolar, a borderline personality. I mean, I shouldn't be allowed to be on the plane, let alone the dog. That's that's what but you wrote on your prescription? Yeah, and it wasn't just for me, but it was like for my two <laughs> people that brought the. I'm not going to say the animal handlers. <laughs> it really. Wait, 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 go it back. really sounds. It's my assistant and my brother took the dogs out for me, okay? Okay? But wait now a second. You, know. you went in. But we're all really messed up, apparently. Uh, you I'm like, went no. into the psychiatrist to get the prescription so you could travel, and then he goes, but who's taking the animals? He goes, we well, my have, assistant. We're all my... messed up. We had to say, my brother. My assistant and I all. This and these are so all, pretentious and, these are all, and dishy. Are I you sound like the biggest jerk. These lies. I'm really messed up. I mean, I can't even get through this segment. This is hard. I need. Where's my dog? I thought I was told my dog would Do be we here. Have, we have dogs around here. Can we yeah. Get dog? no, can we? Can <laughs> we get emotional. a dog before? Can you the imagine? No, yeah. we have dogs. We keep them around. We do. You do. Oh do yeah. You have do you have we allow support? dogs in this building. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. 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 It was a deal breaker for me, my friend. <laughs> um, uh, you also got a, you got the the, the new uh, show on Netflix yes. is Thirteen Reasons Why. Yes. Which is based on a series of books. That's correct. Okay. Young and, adult novel. And, and it's a it's about a teen girl who yes. commits suicide yes. and leaves thirteen tapes. 
That's correct. As to her reasons why That's she right. did that. And you yeah. play... I play the, her mother. It's very intense. It's very intense. It was mm -hmm. a very uh, kind of heavy role to take on, but it's an amazing show. It's an incredible project. Um, Brian Yorkey uh, wrote it and adapted it from the novel mm -hmm. by Jay Asher and Tom McCarthy. Mm -hmm. Um, directed it, directed the first two, and, and is there executive a hopeful producing. Component there is. There's a hopeful or? component, and it's it's an incredible show. Actually, the kids are so amazing, and it was uh, and it's, it deals with big issues other than suicide. It deals with bullying and LGBTQ issues and race issues and gender issues, and it's pretty and internet bullying particularly, which I didn't even know. Like, I mean, we know what happens on Twitter. We see what's happening in our yeah. well, our We've administration. The, our, <laughs> the, bu the bullying. Chief. The bully in chief. We got that going. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so you could imagine the sort of exacerbated how it's magnified in high school. But it's pretty, it's a really, I'm really proud to be a part of it. Well, after doing project. like an intense, like, you know, I imagine it must be emotionally draining thing to work yes. on. It. What, do you, what do you go on? What do you do next to like something light to lift well, you up? Well, what I felt like the right thing to do is go into a really dark um, <laughs> theater here in New York in the dead of winter and do, if I forget, Stephen Levinson's new play. And it's about um, politics, family, and uh, being Jewish and the Holocaust in Israel. It's some light fare. No, it's, uh, Hold on a it's second. actually really funny. It really is. There's, it's do we have a dog funny. for her? Do <laughs> we have? <laughs> well. I need my dog now. Now, no. Um, um. Well, yeah. I wish we had. I, I wish sound, we had. I really do. Now I sound like a complete lunatic between the the choices I made <laughs> and the dog situation. You, you sound like an artist. I, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's yeah. what we're gonna call it's it. It's a let's fine call line. It, let's call it that. Let's it's call a fine that. line. Yeah. Uh, well, I wish we'd known each other in the '90s when I, I had time to improvise. I bet I you'd be a lot of fun to do a set with. We could. We would have had fun. We yeah. Could, we could have made some crank phone calls together, maybe. We did the McKay and I. Adam McKay and I did that. He used to. You did prank phone on stage? No, we actually used to do it in life when we were we were. <laughs> McKay would call and pretend to be uh, a manager of either a pizza restaurant to get pizzas ordered and delivered to us, or a movie theater manager from some cinema cineplex out in Evanston, and would like order like we need tickets right away to Michigan Avenue, so do you know, the multiplex or whatever, and he'd get it. We'd get it. Like, yeah, that's what we do. Liars, <laughs> professional liars. <laughs> That's what actors are. Yeah, that's what we do. Well, Kate, lovely to see you. It's really nice to see you. Thank 13 you. Reasons Why is available Friday on Netflix. And If I Forget is at the Laura Pels Theater. Kate Walsh, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by Circus 1903. Stick around.